Good evening. This is a hopefully a quick tutorial to show you how to add the scan codes from Jose's website onto Think or Swim. Uh, there are two scan codes. One is the buy swing arm scan code, and the second is a sell swing arm breakdown code. Make sure you are aware uh, that they are different and that you're choosing the correct one to utilize on Think or Swim. I'm going to copy the buy swing arm scan code and then on to Think or Swim for the rest of the tutorial. The first thing I want to do is to create a watch list. This is a watch list that the scan code will pull uh, or try to calculate the data from. Uh, click on the menu button here, the, the bottom of the two, and create watch list. Give it a unique name that you remember. We're going to pull this watch list a little bit later on on this tutorial. Okay, and now you decide whether you want to add multiple symbols or tickers or just one. That is entirely up to you. I'm going to add more than one for the sake of this tutorial. Okay, and we are done. We're now going to save this watch list for later. The top here, the scan tab, click on that tab. We're now going to reset this workspace so that we can work with a fresh start. At the top here, there's a menu button, the top of the three. Click on that and reset the workspace. Now, there are three filters by default. We're going to delete these filters by clicking on the X next to each filter. The X is located here on the right. We're now going to add our own custom filter. Click on this button here, add filter. Click on study. And then by default, the ADX crossover study is displayed by default. We don't want that. We're going to add our own. So click on it, go to the bottom where it says custom. And then we are going to add our own uh, custom study here. Delete what's displayed. Hit the delete button. There is a Think Script Editor tab. Click on that tab and then paste the bullish scan code. That's the one I'm using. Now, to change the aggregation period, there are two ways of doing it. Number one, you can do it from this screen that's that popped up here. The button here that says that displays the letter D, that's for daily. Click on that button and then change the aggregation time period. We're going to do five minutes for the sake of this tutorial. However, you choose whatever you want. Five minutes and then hit OK. Now, if you somehow forgot to do that on the previous screen, you can change it here again. Click on the five minute button here and change it to whatever you, you uh, originally wanted to change it to. So if you wanted the daily period, change it here. If you wanted the maybe the 15 or 20 or 30 or one hour, you can see all the options here. Choose the one you want and let's keep it going. Now, another option which you have is to now uh, have the scan uh, calculate or pull data from your own personal watch list. By default, it is displaying or will scan in all stocks, all stocks, meaning all symbols. So we're going to change that from all stocks to the watch list which we created. Click on the all stocks, go to personal, that's where it's stored, and then find the watch list. Scan code watch list tutorial, that's the one I saved. Click on that. Uh, now we're almost done. We are going to uh, decide whether or not you want to be alerted every time there's a change within these parameters, meaning the five minutes and then within um, your watch list. Do you want to be alerted every time there's a change? Under the scan button, the green button, click on that and then click on alert when scan results change. We're now going to 
Um, give it a name. If you want to put a note here, you can. And then we're going, there are other options here as well. The sound, if you want to, if you want to change the sound of how you're alerted, you can do so here. Um, this would be maybe a second tutorial. However, I'm letting you know that the options are there. And then we're going to create. We are now going to save what we have here so far. Okay. The save option is going to be the second of the three menu items here on the right. Click on the middle one, save scan query, and give it a name. And then we're going to save. Now, it is now easier if you want to create a second additional scan code. This is your, this is your, uh, sort of your skeleton. Okay. You can, it's easy to do a second one. So say for example, you want a five minute and say you want a one hour, um, scan code utilizing your watch list. Okay. You don't have to change anything. Click on the five minute button here. Click on, say, for example, one hour, two hours, four hours, or for the daily, whatever you want. Let's go ahead and click on four hours for the sake of this tutorial. We're done. We're going to change the name, save it. Change the name, save scan query here, and then just change the name from five minutes to whatever you want to name it. I like to be a little unique so I know what I'm saving. Four hour swing arm scan code, and then I'm going to save it. Again, I'm going to create my alert. Give it a name. And then we're done. Now, what you can do is if you want, you can do a scan, see if there's anything there within your watch list. No matching symbols. Okay, that's fine. Let's say, for example, you now want to create another scan code, but this time, instead of utilizing your watch list, you are going to now utilize, say, all stocks. Okay? All stocks or all symbols, whichever one you want. Maybe all futures, maybe all indices, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm going to utilize all symbols. Okay? This is going to be a large scan. All symbols. We're going to do a four hour scan, all symbols. I'm going to save it. Okay. Four hour swing arm scan code. Okay. I'm going to change this so I, re so I know what I'm scanning. All symbols. Okay. I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to scan to see whether there's anything there for me to sort of look deeper into. It might take a while, but I'm going to wait. We're going to scan. Let's see what comes back. Give it some time. And grab some tea, some coffee, some vodka, whatever you want. It might take a minute, but I'm going to wait and see what comes back. I'm going to take a break, and then when it's done, we're going to come back. Okay, so I'm back and I apologize. I'm back and the scan did not take too long. It was less than a minute. However, we have a lot of the results came back uh, 662. So now let's say you are now interested in all these tickers and you want to save them. Okay, easy. That's very easy. Under the scan button, we're going to click the menu item again. Save watch list is, is an option on this menu. We're going to click that. And we're going to save it as a watch list. We're 
going to save it. So say an hour from now, two hours from now, you'd like to go back and look at the watch list that just sort of popped up. Go to Market Watch, click on this menu item here under Quotes, and we're going to find and look for that watch list, okay? Four hours to arm watch list results. Click on that. And these are your, these are going to be your results from that scan. So every time you get a result from the scan, if you want to save those results as a watch list for you to look at a little later, you can do so. Under the scan, click on that menu item, save as a watch list. Is that easy? Um, and I think that is all I got. Just one, just one more thing before I go. Just always remember, if you want to take your uh, watch list that you originally saved for the purpose of this scan, you can always add a change to that. You don't have to create a new one each time. You can if you want to. However, you can always add symbols to it, edit it, remove symbols from it, whatever you want to do. Um, and if you just want one symbol or one ticker on that watch list, it's up to you. You can go ahead and do so. Uh, some people like to just trade futures only or oil or whatever you want. That's entirely up to you. That is all I got. Any questions? I'm sure I can or Jose or someone else will be able to answer those questions for you in regards to setting up the scan. Thanks.